So most of you might not know this, but I actually enjoy reviewing pro replays from the RLCS just for fun on my own time. It's really interesting for me to see exactly what separates the pros from just high level players like myself. I've been doing this for a while, so I've got a pretty good idea of what that is for me, so I think mechanics aside, I can hang somewhat better than most at a higher level. But I still wanted to actually put this to the test and see if people could tell me apart from the pros if mechanics weren't as much of a factor. So I got a hold of five other pros, we got Luke, Rizzo, j Russ, Gyro, and Turin Turo, and we got together in a private match where we were all trying to look like pros and fit in as much as possible. And it took four games to finally get a one minute strip where the answer wasn't completely obvious. I had some good moments here and there, but most of them were overshadowed by something even worse about 10 seconds later. So in case it's still not clear, I am nowhere near good enough to be a pro, so don't let this video fool you. But for this video, I showed that one minute clip to other YouTubers who were Musty, Sunless, Linkaroo, and Seabell, and I had them try and guess which one of the six players in the match was me. I won't reveal what the answer was until the very end, so you can play along as well and make your guesses. And again, of course, I chose a clip that was difficult on purpose, so don't get too confident. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. I feel like it'll be a toss-up between you and Rizzo. Whenever I watch Rizzo, he do be looking kind of bad, though. Like, really Ooh. bad. Okay, 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 okay. okay. No, 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 no. He looks like he's bad at Rocket League. He looks like he's bad at Rocket League. So, so it's like... like he, he doesn't look like a pro. That's it's all an illusion. Is what you're saying. Yeah, exactly. All right, player one. I've done enough of these guessing videos now that I'm starting to, I can play the meta game a little bit. Rarely, if ever, will player one be the, the one I'm looking for. Even though you missed, you pre-jumped that correctly. It's conserving boost really well. Is this a, a full Fennec lobby? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, a whole lobby is just a Fennec. Moving a little bit slower up field, kind of being patient. He's up quick, good little aerial. The problem with these kind of videos is I always start looking at the other players rather than the one that's currently being spectated, so I'll try not to make that mistake here. But yeah, it is constantly in the right positions, even if he's like not getting amazing touches, they're in the right spot. That's something I've learned uh, watching and playing with him against pros. This look, kind of looks like Rizzo. Be honest. Okay, gotta go up. Okay, gotta go up now. Gotta go up now. Maybe that's why I'm not a pro because I'd probably go up there. <laughs> but I'm not getting too much information from this guy so far. Is he gonna? Oh, okay. Thought he might have scored there. Open net. Okay, maybe not as open as I thought. Ooh, wow. The two cars I just randomly missed the ball. Okay, that was kind of dumb from the boost all the way up to that. That was kind of dumb. I feel like he could definitely pass for a pro from the little mechanical quirks I could see in there, like turning at the right moment and, you know, getting these 50-50s pretty cleanly. But yeah, I'd say I'm, I'm unsure still, but yeah, I think he could be a pro. Just by the odds, I mean, it's probably one of the pros, but um, <laughs> That's true. also That's based true. on the gameplay, it could be, I'm not completely ruling it out, but um, I'm pretty sure that was a pro. Okay. Player two, he's already in the air. He's already flip resetting, <laughs> Jesus. He goes straight to the business. Okay. It's a nice flip reset. You can definitely do those. You're kind of uncontested. So I'm not gonna just say, oh yeah, that was pro because he flip reset him. All right, this player starts midair. That's the, that's, uh, the way he aerialed before that seemed like a pro. Rotating straight back, super good touch. Man, that was so smart to like drive straight back towards the ball there. It's like he knew like it was gonna be dropping in front of goal. Rotates back. Mm. All right. I'm surprised he went all the way back with like zero boost. I don't know if that's something a pro would do. Should be able to score that. Okay. Yeah, that. I mean, a pro. A pros make mistakes. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. What were they? Okay, that that confuses me. Like, I mean, that could be you. Like, if you're upset, like, that was your one moment to score and, like, you know, get the game in your favor. 
Oh, I see. I, I'm sensing a trick here. You're, there's like... There's a lot of mistakes happening here, so you'd assume that this is the non-pro. Infield pass. This is the smartest fake ever, and he goes for the bump. Yeah, the fact that he knew to fake there is, is super smart. Man, this is tough. He was he was under a lot of pressure, so again, I don't want to complete discount, but that, that looks pretty sus. I, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like, pros just have this movement that is like, even to us, when like higher level players, like we can notice like even these small things like, damn, that is, they're quick. Yeah, it's definitely a different play style in the first player. It shows to go for different things, like the, the way they move their car around is a little different, but it still seemed very high level despite a few more mistakes, I would say. But I would say that player two is a pro in front for now. Player three. Okay, missing a lot of pads, missing almost every pad. Very low on boost. Uh, I think this. Uh. So the, they miss, went for boost, missed the boost, so not going over a ton of pads. Good pass with teammate up. Things looking pretty solid so far. Yeah, I, uh, that's looking real sus. I don't think a pro would go try to get that midair bump while he's behind the play. I think this might be the non-pro. Maybe. Use a lot of extra boost to go for that demo. It seemed a little out of place. And that's what, that's what, like, whenever I play in pro lobbies and stuff, I do feel out of place a lot. That's such a good pass. That's a really good pass. So this, to me, is actually looking even more like a non-pro than two now. So I'm kind of just stacking them up. Uh, okay. Lack of boost there, but he his control was decent. I mean, not decent, but it, it was good. <laughs> okay, okay. Mid pass was the right idea. The the way the boost management is the worst out of the three so far. Except that a turn is like pro like. Ah oh, dang. <laughs> Why are you doing this just to boost your ego? Because people <laughs> That's aren't what gonna. I'm saying, dude. <laughs> if you guess wrong, you're basically saying I'm better than a pro. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like it could be anyone. But um, I think that. <laughs> oh man, it's tough. That could have been you. That could have been you. I, I don't. I genuinely. Do, I'll have to go through all of them. But this is the worst out of the three players, in my opinion. Okay, orange team, player four, wave dash already. Starts out with a wave dash. This, the way they flip looks pro-like to me. Little speed flip vibes. Okay, this is weird, but this looks like a pro. I'm pretty sure this is a pro. He's just waiting to see what happens in this 50-50 exchange. Just turns away. That was kind of a weird drive up to the goal. Okay, another questionable jump here. Waiting, man, if this is you. Player four could be waiting. Okay. Shoot. It's really the best shot they can get with low boost. That's pretty much normal. Okay. Up in the air. Oak, an okay shot. How do I know that? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, this is the, this is, I can rule this one out. Thank God. Good speed on defense. Kind of a, if you were covering the wall there, kind of like watching the ball maybe. Rotates back post, standard stuff. Nothing too crazy going on here. Another good 50-50. I feel like he went up, up to that very quickly. Like he prepared for exactly the kind of shot that was going to happen. Getting all the boost pads though. You have to fake this one. You have to go for that just to you know get a touch by time for their teammate, I mean. And maybe you fool it you maybe you're fooling me with like you really practice your your movements. Like a lot of the times what I look for is actually just it's actually just the a lot of the the flips on low boost and stuff. 
I feel like a pro be watching for the mid pass there. And that's a big mess up. Just defending here. Ooh, went a little too far forward. Extending kind of perhaps unnecessarily. He might have done it though because he had somewhat low boost. So maybe he was preparing for something. Okay, yeah, out of all the players so far, player four definitely looked the most out of place. If I had to rank these, like, I'd say this guy was definitely in the top two for me in terms of who might be the non-pro in this match. There's a really clean... It's just always, it's always the little flips that just look super clean. I don't know if you're... Okay, yeah. I know you have some pretty solid mechanics in the air, but that was, that was, uh, that looked pro level. Decent block. They have to get boost here and avoid the demo. Smart. This could be Rizzo. Um, I find it curious that he was chasing everyone there, like including the bowl, because there was no boost to be had there. Got the middle of the field, taking the time, hitting the ball up with control, 15. Yeah, this is looking, this is looking. Really good, I think. Nice bump there. That's good stuff. No, dude, this is waiting. This is 100% waiting. <laughs> uh, actually, I won't say 100%. Right at it to try to demo. Probably shouldn't have gone for that, uh, but it's whatever. Zero boost though. Let's see. Let's see how they get the pads here. He's like programmed to go over the pads. Like, it's second nature to this dude. They should not... What are they? I mean, I guess if this is in, like, a, a pro lobby, if you guys are just chilling, but that's not smart to go all the way for their boots. Just, just quick speed, like, even not going for that ball, I think, was a pro play. I'll probably end up looking like an idiot if I say it, but I feel like there's something about the mechanics of this guy that doesn't scream, like pro consistency and precision it, it's sort of like he could be a little bit more precise he's been very good but he could be even better this player i feel like out of all the players i've watched they probably got the least points they, they did the least i feel like but it doesn't necessarily mean they're not a pro i i, I feel like this probably is a pro pretty sure that's a pro maybe you fooled me you did? Props to you, dude. <laughs> Props to you, if that's you. Okay. Yep. I'm getting actually getting sick of seeing the same flip reset <laughs> at the start of every clip. Okay. Kind of a weird, weird movement so far. Slight hesitation on the, on the movement up there. Just looking kind of slow still. Good hit, really good second hit. Moving slow around the field. That's smart to go for, but the way they hit it off their own backboard wasn't super smart, but there you had an insane recovery to help that off the backboard. Okay, he got that mode. He's up for it, gets beat. Seems pretty standard. Any, any pro, any low GC could get beat by that. It's not a hint for me that they're not a pro if they grab the folds a lot, even though you're not really supposed to. It's more of if they miss the small pads a lot. And this guy doesn't miss the small pads either, so far. Yeah, like he's still really efficient, even though he's using it a lot. Ooh, he's getting bump happy. Something a non-pro player might do if they feel outclassed, he would say. Back post, positioning really, really well in that here, you know, preparing for pretty much everything. We need to double this. Triple touch. That's a decent touch. Not using too much extra boost, but they go all the way for boost. I feel like in a pro lobby, they wouldn't do that. Way, he's way upfield. He's a, this is definitely an aggressive pro that's definitely, or if he's a pro, he's definitely one of the more aggressive ones. Really likes to get up there. Use a lot of boost. 
the, the, the way they, they move, they were extremely mechanical, but a few decision-making errors, but again, pros do make decision-making errors, just very little. O overall, I would say this is indeed a pro. I would say it's a pro. I think that, that looked kind of like a pro. So, or that did look like a pro. So I'm, I'm really narrowing this down to player two and three, the biggest red flags for me. All right, that is all the players. So you can go ahead and make your guess. I thought it wasn't four. Okay, yeah, it's definitely between three and four. I think it's, I think it's four. The thing is, I always feel like if I don't follow my gut feeling, I always end up choosing the wrong answer. So I think I should just go with my gut feeling, which was player five. This is like the hardest, hardest guessing game I've played. <laughs> just based on the first 20 seconds, I'm gonna have to say three, and I don't care if it's a pro. If, if, it, if number three is the pro, I'm sorry, dude. Even if you're a professional, you do need to work on those small pads more. Ah, although, okay, wait, wait. Actually, I just have no idea. I really don't. <laughs> I'm completely baffled. I have no idea. You blended it in really well. Yeah, I'll just say, I, I think it's two. I'll just say two. That's my guess. Waiting, I'm gonna go with player four, final answer. All right, so I was player four. Yes, come on. Let's go, yep. let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> player four, nice. <laughs> Didn't detect it. You were player four. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna go back and look at it, and you're gonna be like, "Oh man, I'm so dumb." Like you're gonna, oh, I dude. failed so many recoveries. I thought that was gonna be so much more obvious than it is. So there you go. I was player four. Did you get it right? If so, feel free to comment how easy that was and how bad of a player I am. And if you got it wrong, feel free to comment how bad those pros were and how you should be a pro instead. Either way, I hope you enjoyed. Hit subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you later.